Hello children, my name is Sunil and welcome again to Marvelous Maths. In this lesson, we continue to learn how to subtract up to 18. We will also try and remember the answers to simple subtraction. Let's start by finding pairs of numbers where the difference is the same. We'll look for all pairs up to 12 where the difference is 2. First, what number minus 0 will give us 2? Since 0 is nothing, 2 minus 0 equals 2. Next, what number minus 1 equals 2? The answer should be 3. 3 minus 1 equals 2. What number minus 2 equals 2? The answer should be 4. Now, what number minus 3 equals 2? Yes, 5. I'm sure you see a pattern of numbers developing. We started with 2, then 3, followed by 4, then 5. So, the next one should be correct, 6. 6 minus 4 equals 2. After that, it should be, yes, 7. 7 minus 5 equals 2. And then, it should be 8 minus 6, followed by 9 minus 7. Next will be 10 minus 8 and then 11 minus 9 and finally 12 minus 10. Now let's do more subtraction but this time see if you can get the answers by counting in your head. Remember subtraction is the bigger number minus the smaller number. Are you ready? Let's go. 10 minus 3. Yes, 7. Take 4 from 12. Correct. 8. 1 less than 18. Correct. 17. Take away 7 from 18. Yes, 11. Find the difference between 3 and 17. Yes, 14. 11 minus 0. 11. Good. 15 is 1 less than 16. Good. 13 minus 6. Correct, 7. What is 2 less than 10? Correct, 8. Subtract 2 from 16. Yes, 14. What is the difference between 12 and 6? 6, correct. What is left if I take 4 from 9? 5. Good. Take 6 dolls from 14 dolls. How many dolls are left? Eight dolls. Correct. One plate less than 17 plates. 16 plates. Yes. And finally, take away 5 erasers from 18 erasers. 13 erasers. Very good. Now, let's write number sentences for the following questions and find the answers. 
Davy has 17 pencils. Rehan has 4 pencils less. How many pencils does Rehan have? To find the number of pencils Rehan has, we have to find the difference between 17 and 4. So, the number sentence will be 17 minus 4 equals 13. Rehan has 13 pencils. Hassan has 7 rambutans and 4 mangoes. He eats 2 mangoes. How many fruits are left? First, we will find the total number of fruits he has. The number sentence for this would be 7 plus 4 equals 11. Hassan has 11 fruits. Now, if he eats 2 mangoes, that means he will have 2 less fruits. So, the number sentence would be 11 take away 2 equals 9. Hassan has 9 fruits left. There are 14 buttons in a box. 9 are red buttons and the rest are blue. How many buttons are blue? The total is 14. And there are 9 red buttons. To find the number of blue buttons, we have to subtract 9 from 14. The number sentence is 14 minus 9 equals 5. There are 5 blue buttons in the box. Subtraction can also be used when we count up. Remember counting up? For example, if we count up from 8 to 13, how many numbers have we counted up? You can count with me. After 8 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have moved up 5 numbers. Now, let's use subtraction and see if we get the same answer. We were counting up from 8 to 13. So, the bigger number 13 minus the smaller number 8 equals 5. Yes, we get the same answer. Just now, we used subtraction when we counted up. Now, let's see if we can use subtraction when we count down. We'll count down from 16 to 10. Let's count together. After 16 is 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We have moved down 6 numbers. Now, let's subtract 10 from 16 and see if we get the same answer. So, 16 minus 10 equals 6. Yes, again we get the same answer. So, subtraction can be used when we count up and when we count down. Remember number lines? Look at the number line and form the correct number sentence. As you know, the arrow above the line will point to the bigger number. The arrow below the line will point to the answer. And the number of places the bottom arrow moves will show the smaller number. Let's write the number sentence for this example. The arrow above the line is pointing at 18 and the arrow below starts from 18 and goes backwards till 14. So the bigger number is 18 and 14 is the answer. The number sentence should be The smaller number will be the number of places the bottom arrow has moved backwards from 18. Let's count. 1 
two, three, four. It has moved four spaces. So the smaller number is four. So eighteen minus four equals fourteen. Nicole has eight blue pens and six red pens. She gives three red pens to her brother Nick. How many pens does she have left? We start by finding the total number of pens Nicole has. She has eight blue pens and six red pens. So eight plus six equals fourteen pens. If she gives away three pens, then fourteen minus three will give us the balance of the pens she has. So, fourteen minus three is eleven. Nicole has eleven pens left. Find the difference between. The fourth number from your left, and the fifth number from your right. Let's start by finding the numbers. The fourth number from your left is sixteen, and the fifth number from your right is yes seven. Finding the difference means taking away the smaller number from the bigger number. So sixteen minus seven. Sixteen is ten and six. We hold ten in our head. We have six. We close one, two, three, four, five, six, and from ten we close one more finger, and that leaves us with. Nine. So sixteen minus seven is nine. Which of the following pairs of numbers give the same difference? To find the answer, we will have to find the difference between each pair of numbers. Let's start with A. Seventeen minus eight. Seventeen is ten and seven. We hold ten in our head, and we have seven. We close all seven fingers, and we close one more finger from the ten in our head. That leaves us with nine. So the difference between seventeen and eight is nine. Next pair, eleven minus two, also equals nine. So the difference between the pairs in A are the same. Now let's check B and C. In B, thirteen minus two is eleven, and sixteen minus five is also eleven. So the number pairs in B also give the same difference. What about C? In C, the difference between eighteen and eight is ten, and the difference between fifteen and seven is eight. This means the number pairs in C give different answers. So A and B are correct. Which of the following is correct? A. Sixteen is one less than eighteen. B. Twelve 
is more than 17. C. 14 is one less than 15. D. 13 is less than 19. Let's start with A. 16 is one less than 18. That's wrong because 16 is two less than 18. B. 12 is more than 17. That's wrong because 12 is not more than 17. C. 14 is one less than 15. Yes, it's right. And finally, D. 13 is less than 19. Yes, it's correct. So, our correct answers are C and D. Mrs. Wong needed 16 pies for a tea party, but she only had baked 9 pies. How many more pies did she have to bake? Mrs. Wong needed 16 pies, but she only had 9. To find how many pies more she had to bake, we minus 9 from 16. 16 is 10 and 6. We hold 10 in our head. We take 6 out and 3 more from the 10 in our head. That leaves us with 7. 16 minus 9 equals 7. Mrs. Wong will have to bake 7 more pies to get her total of 16. There are 12 marbles in box X. Box Y has 3 marbles less than box X. How many marbles are there in box Y? Box X has 12 marbles and box Y has 3 less. To find the number of marbles in box Y, we have to find the difference between 12 and 3. So, Take away 3 from 12 and we get 9. There are 9 marbles in box Y. What number must be added to 8 to get 13? To get the answer, we have to find the difference between 8 and and 13. 13 minus 8 equals 5. So 5 must be added to 8 to get 13. Well, that's all for now. Bye!